Okay, guys, okay, guys, okay. And right now, guys, enough of that, guys, okay. We're about to get into, guys, three good reasons why you should miss Obama, guys, okay, guys. And, you know, uh, to me, guys, Obama's not a black man, guys. He's still a, a born representative of some sorts, guys. He, he ain't Jesse Jackson, Kaz. Even still, Jesse Jackson shouldn't be running for no damn president, Kaz. We need somebody like uh, a normal black man that cares about the people. That's for the people. Martin Luther King would have been good, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. But we'll never know, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. So this is. Let's get into three good reasons. Why you should miss Obama, Kaz, okay? Okay, Kaz, coming in at number three, Kaz, we got Obama himself, Kaz, and you should miss Obama strictly for what he represents, Kaz, and you know what the Democratic Party represents, period, Kaz, and that is, the to me, it is the building of nations, Kaz, peace with understanding, Kaz, and you know, if there was any faction to drive a new world order cause it would be that blue faction that democratic faction that right wing extremists because like i say previously cause they come from a you know uh families that already have money already developed in society and have uh already been been established in some type of hierarchy you know uh to me, guys, the whole the king comes from being blue, guys. You know, the king comes from money and wealth, and he's only rid from what corrupts him. You did, guys. You know, uh, you know his army, you know, war, other factions, stuff of that nature, guys. Uh, his riches, his gold. You know, that's the only thing that makes him red, guys. You did, me, guys, and you know, a person like Obama, you know, represented a building of nations, uh, letting go of the past, uh, a lot of change being brought into place, and, you know, cause I think that is something you should miss about that man, because that's something that, you know, Republicans don't represent, you know, they're all about, you know, Tea Party is all about the homeland, you know, America as a home front, guys, and, you know, protect the home first, protect the house first, guys, okay, guys, coming in at number two, guys, we have Obamacare, guys, and you know, you guys should miss Obamacare, guys, mainly because it's free, guys, and you know, there's, uh, it was the thing, uh, about, uh, you being fined if you don't have health insurance, and, you know, health insurance being, not being an option anymore, but something that you must be required to have, and, you know, I think putting that into place could save lives, as well as, you know, hurt people, you know, like this says. This is going to hurt Obamacare. You never know what they're trying to, you know, they're probably trying to kill off a whole nation. That's why they make you have health, health insurance so you can go get healthy and, you know, or think you're getting healthy and whatever they're prescribing is really killing you. But that's the conspiracy behind it, cuz. The literal faction, the literal, the literal understanding of it, cuz, is that, you know, it's saving lives. And, you know, it's uh, in a time of need where war is not going on currently or not to the fullest extent if someone's hurt and you do have free Medicaid or free health insurance, Cass. Come on, Cass. You got to go get that, Cass. You got to use that. It's a tool, Cass. It's a tool provided by the Cass. So don't, don't never shy away from it. You know, keep, keep, uh, your health care out of my, keep your politics out of my health care. No doubt about that, Cass. Okay, Cass. So miss Obamacare, Cass, because it's about to be Trump care. Okay, guys, <laughs> coming in at number one, cuz, is her, cuz, and, you know, cuz, she's the one to miss, cuz, you know how the whole eight years Obama was in there, out of the whole thing, Michelle's a, a humanitarian, cuz, she is what made Obama black, you understand, cuz, like, 
Obama isn't black, guys, without Michelle Obama, guys. Obama's a white man without Michelle Obama, guys. It's like, because, you know, uh, uh, what uh, Obama was had? He chose his black side with Michelle Obama, guys. And, you know, what got them into the White House is the representation of them being black. And that's a real black woman, guys. I don't think Obama is a black man. I'm a black man, guys. He's half. He's like white man. You know, she just did everything. Ellen DeGeneres, guys. Very motivational with the people, guys. Okay, guys. She with the heat. Yeah, man. UK, guys. You know what I'm saying? She's very funny. Very in the light with the people. Look at her, guys. With the, with the, with the guy James and Missy Ellie, guys. Like, she just with the people, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. That was Little Pie Rips. Top three reasons why you should miss Obama, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, guys. And uh, let me know, guys, uh, why you miss Obama. If you do miss Obama, it might be a couple hate comments, man. Fuck Obama, that, that, that. Excuse my language, guys. But hey, guys, this is just how it is sometimes, guys. Uh, it's all in perspective, guys. It's all in the train of thought, guys. Uh, Who's the goat and who's the lamb, Kaz? Who's the cop and who's the robber, Kaz? Uh, me personally, Kaz, I'm eating up all the dishes and I'm driving the car. You did, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. A woo woo. the office of President of the United States and will to the best of your ability and will to the best of my ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States so help you God so help me God Johnson, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chief Justice, President Eisenhower, Vice President Nixon, President Truman, Reverend Clergy, fellow citizens. We observe today not a victory of party, but a celebration of freedom, symbolizing an end as well as a beginning signifying renewal as well as change. For I have sworn before you and Almighty God the same solemn oath our forebears prescribed nearly a century and three quarters ago. The world is very different now, for man holds in his mortal hands the power to abolish all forms of human poverty and all forms of human life. And yet the same revolutionary belief for which our forebears fought are still at issue around the globe. The belief that the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. We dare not forget today that we are the heirs of that first revolution. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century, tempered by war, 
disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, 